the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine has sat proudly in the heart of Bloomsbury since 1929. Around the frieze of our building is the name of 23 scientists, who are all men. On our 120th anniversary as an institute, we're rectifying that by adding the names of women pioneers in health to our heritage building, including Florence Nightingale. At 17 years old, she felt she had the call from God to do something special with her life, and she knew she wanted to care for people. Her legacy was developing nursing as a profession as she placed great value on education. She elevated nursing to an art requiring practical and scientific training, which is why she is known as the founder of modern nursing. She's also done a lot of work in medical statistics. She was actually also a pioneer in data visualization. She invented this kind of graph, which is called a pearl area diagram. Nightingale's ideas around evidence-based nursing, putting the patient at the heart of care, and making sure that nursing is a real profession is really what gives us nursing today. Now, nursing is a degree course, and more nurses are doing postgraduate degrees and becoming doctors of nursing in their own right. I'm speaking to you from outside the uh, Excel Centre, which is currently functioning as um, NHS Nightingale. I'm working with uh, colleagues in the intensive care unit. There's a shortage of intensive care nurses and that really emphasises how critical nurses are. Florence Nightingale, I think, was uh, such an extraordinary figure as an epidemiologist. I also am very admiring of her efforts in epidemiology. She was a fantastic data scientist. So it's clear to see how the, the groundwork that Florence Nightingale laid in emphasising, really understanding that need for accurate and standardised reporting is helping us today. There are now many women working in statistics, medical statistics, data science and science more generally. 